hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial i going to talk about tooltipster tooltipster is a kind of jquery tooltip plugin and you can say library as well as you know we need to show tooltip in web application for showing the information of the element and uh, tooltip basically display informative text when user hover over on the element so let's show me example see this is tooltip plugin when i hover on this name this tooltip is appear so i going to show you about this plugin tooltip star and this plugin is a powerful one and flexible because provide us variant type of modern tooltips so we can display content on hover based on our requirement best thing i found in this library is we can show image and html as a tooltip basically we show only text but this library provide a support to show html and image on hover so this is a interesting thing so let me show you how we can set up in laravel project and see some examples and here is a official documentation and you can download all the resource from here and uh, also some demo given here when you hover here when you click here with some animations see multiple tooltip on single element so you can show it like it and this is image and html so you can show it like this as well and yeah also some call back ajax call so if you want to show tooltip from the database you can make ajax call and get content from the database and you can show it so this is also one good feature in this plugin so let's see how we can go with this first of all we need to download this resource so let me download i unzip this folder and now let's see we need to go in this directory and just copy or cut paste and go to the your project directory so I going to LPT and this is my project open public directory and paste here and let's open the editor and show you JS and CSS now next step is once you download this here first step is given we need to copy this and this script so let me copy this and put here but this path not working so we need to specify with laravel way using assets and specify this path here so it's correctly load here and show tools tips touch css and then copy this js and put this js before closing the body and same way we need to specify this js because this js load from the local public directory so we need to use this laravel function php function assets and specify path inside this method also you can use public path function as well and you can use this asset function as well and this is cdn so no need to change but yeah it's now load from the 
public directory and then let's see simple thing set up your html adding tooltip in image you can see different different example given here but we need to activate tooltipster with this script so let's copy this script and just put after this script and now we can specify class here tool tip and now let's refresh and still it's old let me show you what issue refresh and you can see both tool tester css and js not rendered here and maybe some issue with the name and you can see we download these css and js but name is different and we just copy from the uh, site so we need to take care of this thing so i going to rename this and use bundle dot css and same for the jquery dot we have a directly js folder not jquery so going to remove dot jquery and then tool tips are and going to use bundle i going to use bundle because this is uh, bundle and build js with these uh, inside plugins if you use this main.js then you need to import or add this js as well here so i going to directly use this bundle js and let's see what happen again and now you can see this is a tooltip plugin this tooltip available with css and now we are going to take some other examples how we can show image so let's see you can show content uh, directly from here as well right now i specify tooltip like that but i going to remove this title and try to show something different i going to specify id for access this element and let's specify title and we need to show tooltip on this id title and then we need to specify here title and then need to specify content in this method as argument and let's specify content and bracket and then here need to write html we need to again specify asset function and load image from the public directory so you can write your html like that inside the content and let's save and see what happen refresh and c 
see when you hover on this element image appears so you can display all the informations in image as well as you can specify more details in html as well so you can easily specify here also one another way you can write html directly into the element and show let me show you one example here let's specify here i'm going to specify class tooltip and title and let's specify here but we need to specify html and then we need to change this option and let remove this make tooltip and you need to specify another option here content html as a html true save and just refresh and see here so you can do it like that let me remove this and then check the effect see it's print html but when you specify this option they only print text not html see i am a developer then you can show lots of options here see all the options given and also description given in this row and what is the default value for example if you want to change the animation you need to specify here animation and you can specify for example swing and save and let's refresh see animation same let me show grow refresh and see so various kind of animation you can set here let fade is default and you can change see if you want to hide this arrow you just need to specify arrow false and arrow no more into the tooltip see so this is a very easily customizable and lots of features lots of options given by this plugin and it's totally free you can set all the options based on your requirement you can plug and play like that you can set these options into the here and you can see different different results so this is very good package and easy to set easy to use thank you for watching video please do not forget to subscribe my channel